Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Tom Slade from the AFL TV in association with Matt on his gym, Bear. We're down there in MGM Scotland headquarters. Delighted to be joined by Daddy Dare himself and Jamie Conlon. How are we doing? How are we doing, fellas? Jamie, you all like your... Jamie, you all like you're going to an expedition to Antarctica or something like that? It's freezing in Scotland. This is actually the warmest winter we've had in I don't know how long. It's warmer I'll try than in here. <laughs> so yeah, that's, is, that's right? a true story. Yeah. You would have been working up a heat during Spartan Berry, so you were fine? I can say that now. It's a warm up before the Spartan, but you've got to worry about So we're all in prayer for the next fight. How are we getting on? Okay, uh, I've been up for four days with Danny. Uh, it's good so far. Um, and then we fly out to LA on Saturday um, to prepare the best I can prepare. At the moment, Jamie's halfway in the middle of his camp. So I'm playing catch up, so talking about these lads at the moment. You said also 11 together, you said going to LA, it sounds like the lads are on tour. Just don't say the, just don't say the misses. Yeah. Part and parcel of boxing, <laughs> being away. Good job we've got Paddy Barnes with us, to be honest. He's a I see, I, Tyrone was saying he's a chef. Cool cleaner, and he's even massaging our feet. He's massaging <laughs> your feet? Brilliant. It's all coming out nice, isn't it? Do everything, can't it, Ty? <laughs> This is Tony Elson, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a good rain for Jamie. How's Brett coming along for you, Jamie? That's oh, sound, eh? It's just kind of kicking on a bit now. We're, we'll go to LA on Saturday to, to, to start, to start the, the heavy sparring. So um, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's some world class sparring and it's something that's going to stand me in good stead come fight me. Definitely. I don't think you'll find a, a better gym to get you in preparation for your next fight. No, exactly. I know. We're, we're going to Fred Roach's gym and then my Robles gym. So it's a. Uh, it's going to be an eye opener like for us, so uh, we're all we're all gearing up for it. And it's all we've been talking about in camp, and we're all looking forward to it. What's your brother been saying you can expect over there? Uh, just he, he's loving it. Like he's saying every fighter is a world class kind of fighter, especially in his gym. He's got Oscar Valdez and Diego Magdaleno, so um, it's a uh, he, he he's he's reveling. This year's going to be a massive year for you. There's a lot of talk that you may be getting a world title shot. Is that something that's death that's and your size just now? Not really, I just kind of focus on one fight at a time. I let the um, management team look after all that there and the promotion team look after everything else. Um, all I gotta do is focus on the gym and get myself better and, and then putting it in fight night. And whoever's across the ring and never really bothers me. It's, it's not what they do, it's what I do that matters. And everyone else would say the ring has to do their job and getting getting the fights and I just gotta do my job and fighting. Daddy. <coughs> There's been a lot of social media activity between yourself and your next opponent. Can you shed any sort of light on where it's all sort of stemmed from? Just started one night, he just started abusing me basically on, <laughs> on Twitter. I gone from Josh Taylor to me. Last week he went on to Robbie Davies, another Liverpool kid who it smashed him as well. Uh, I think it's just jocks and scousers he's got a thing again. I just, no, I just, I just, I, I think he's deluded. No, it's like, I don't know, he doesn't even know what he's doing. That's. Do you know what I mean? He's one of them fellas where he doesn't know what he wants to be, an actor, a gangster, a boxer. He's, he's like, he's, he's mad, the kid's mad and, and I guarantee you half, on the fight night, half of London in the O2 will want me to do him in. <laughs> Every, I think everyone in the boxing, in the boxing world yeah, wants me to do him in. He's mad. You know, you don't... You know, every fighter I fight, I, I respect to the eyes, to the eyes. Anyone who gets in them ropes, but him. I despise him, I hate him. He's just one of them fellas what does your head in. And it's hard to be like bad mild people thinking it's gonna get his profile like ridden like high. Mm -hmm. like, like the likes of Nazi Mamad and all them, they could back it up. No one's seen this kid back it up yet and it's time to me to stop him, basically and you know, I've just gotta do everything what's being asked of me, what's being asked of Danny in training. I've gotta and that's why you know I've locked myself away, I've locked myself away from me. From my wife, my boy, um, and I've, I've come up to spend time with Jamie and the lads, and we're flying to LA, come and have some better sparring. 
Not even some of sommige besparen, just the environment. Yep. Success breeds success, and we're going to manufacture our team. Well, no, the history of the place, and then we're going to manage our own place. We have Michael Taylor and the two more world champions, Jason Quigley. Was there, you know, you're training with a champion, you want to be that champion, and even training alongside Michael, it's, it's, it's going to be a massive experience for myself. I've had 51 fights, but success mm-hmm. breeds yeah, success, breed success. And, Jamie's dad's coming out with us as well, and hopefully we get to do. I get to do a bit of work with him as well as, as well as Danny, and you know I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Mm. You think you needed something? Like yes, after the Lucan, we'll fight. You weren't sure if you were going to continue or not, and then you've obviously had this back and forth on social media. Is is this the sort yeah, of thing you needed? It's to one of them. It's one of them where no disrespect to four round fighters or six round fighters, but I could not be asked getting out of bed. To train for six weeks for four round fights or six round fights, and I needed a big fight. And I think the winner of this is automatic mandatory challenges to fight Crawford. <laughs> I don't know how, but <laughs> it, 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 it's one of them things where we're, autom- we're mandatory challenger for Crawford, Callum Smith's ma- mandatory for um, Badu Jack now, Tony Belly was mandatory when he won the WBC, um, Silver, um, McDonald, one of the McDonald's brothers, them as well. and no, so to be on Stephen Smith as well. To be on the same, you know, list as that, and then you get a mandatory challenge. Brilliant for me. Craw, to be honest, Crawford, most of he's never heard of me or Omar Davies. So he and he's got bigger fish to fry. He's got bigger fish to fry, and he almost of if we have to fight him, he almost have to give his belt up. So I'll become a vacant belt. So you never know what can happen in boxing. Yep, it's and, a funny and, sport. And with me, it's one of them. It's, your last fight, your, your next fights could always be your last fight, and that's for every fighter. Mm-hmm. Jamie, uh, next fight, Belfast, after fighting Belfast last time. How much does that sort of sport mean to you? Oh, it's brilliant, though. I think everyone, every fighter kind of revels in the opportunity to, to headline in their own hometown, and uh, Belfast supporters are kind of they're a different level of supporters that to, to convert anywhere else in the UK and Ireland. They, they understand boxing. Like it, the normal person in the street would talk about boxing as well as football. It's the sec- our second sport league, and everyone I think everyone in the brownies have, have boxed in Belfast, so it's it's in our blood, and it, it's brilliant to bring bring boxing and bring the TV cameras back there. Mm. Just switching the attention to your brother. I take it everyone's going to be out there in March for his debut. How is he sort of dealing with this new level of uh, exposure, if you like? like Oh, All it's, eyes it's are not focused even, on It's not even new, you know. He, he's been to the two Olympics. He's a, he's yeah. a national, he's a national star. Like, so it's just took a whole new level though since the last Olympic oh, Games. Oh, definitely are. But like, I've been with him in, in, in Dublin and in, in Belfast, and you can't walk down the street without people stopping their cars and getting into the cars to, to greet him mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Especially after um, the London Olympics uh, in Dublin, it was crazy. So it's something he's kind of like prepared himself for for the last kind of eight years so on being on to himself he's been building himself up to these kind of moments now this will be a, a different moment and a different kind of problem all, all to itself even before fighting um, what he has to deal with um, pr- prior to the fight and the build up to the fight so it, it's something that kind of he, he uh, builds himself on and enjoys and, and gets a kick out of it. Good boys, you know, he puts the work in harder than anyone else I've ever met and if you ask any Irish fighter who's trained with him, they all kind of agree. Uh, so he, he does he does his part and all he has to do now is fight. The, the rest is up to everyone else. You know, they, the, the team he's around him is, is building around him, is thinking of all that. And, if he's able to deal with the pressures and deal with the performance, that's all he has to do. He seems happier in America, as he said, really well. Yeah, Kenny, he's, he's been out for a bit now. He's been out for a while. He's started the, 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 the place where he's going to live. Now he's, he's brought his family out and they've kind of relocated. Everything's done. It was supposed to be a big move and a scary move at the start. But um, he knows that when you go to that kind of place, when you, you, you face your fears and you, and, and you're, you do all the things like that, you grow as a person, you grow as a man, and they'll grow as a family. And it's even without boxing, you know what I mean? He's going to grow as a man. The family will grow stronger together because they're out together and they've got to survive together on their own and they don't have no no one to help, no mum and dad to go and run to when things go tough. So he's prepared for it, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a big and exciting experience for him, man. 
We just won <coughs> witnessed the great start to the boxing year for the face of the weekend. Start with James DeGale and Badu Jai. What was your thoughts on that fight, fellas? I thought it was a great fight. Uh, what, I've, what I've seen, I've only seen clips of the highlights. Uh, DeGale to get a two from the team knocked out, just <laughs> to prove what, what a champion has gone to. And I, I, I rate Chunky as the best in the world to wait. I thought, I think he's brilliant. And, no, I, I thought you, what I seen, I thought you could have nicked it by a, by a round, um, but a draw could have been a fair result. They, they knocked down the last round, I think lost him, lost him the win. But listen, he'll, he'll, I think he'll come back. Um, and Badu Jack is a, is a great fighter. Mm -hmm. a, Mayweather doesn't back, back shite, basically Mayweather only got the best that came in the crop and they've got him. So, he does you know, the basics brilliant, yeah, but Badu Badu Jack, Jack, yeah. does the basics very good. Everything kind of is simplified. It's like where the Gale is like doing things that people don't really do, yeah. coming from all different angles. Jack does the basics very, very simple and very, very well. And um, he, I think on paper he'd look an easier fight than what he is in the ring. He's tougher and and stuff like that. But uh, I would love to see the Gale and Cal Smith. I think it'll be a smashing fight. And I think Cal Smith beats Darrell and and, and then. Uh, it's a win-win for Eddie Hearn, the result on Saturday, you know, he's going to have two world champions in if he keeps the game. Mm. Uh, whereas if he didn't, he would still have one. So it's 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 an uh, exciting time again for British boxing. It's another kind of, he still retains his title and sets up a move water and clash still with uh, Cam Smith. And if he wins the WBC, it brings two belts together and unification. So it's 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 good times. Yeah, it's a lot to look forward to this year. Yeah. We'll just end on a... Uh, the one a lot of people looking forward to today is uh, you and O'Hara settling your dispute. How do you see the fight going? fucked. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, he said it. Um, yeah, I've just got to, I've got to do what I've got to do. Um, the build up to the fight's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, he asked for the fight. He's asked for the fight. The fight's being called, the fight's being done. He's gone very quiet. Um, I've, seen so, I've seen him do something on social media saying he's moving away to prepare the best he can prepare. But he's not taking the trainer with him. Who's taking with him? He's, 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 the fella's mad. He's got his head on, I'm going away. So. He just seems like one of guys ah. have yes men all around. Yeah. So if yeah, he yeah, says yeah. something, I'm going to do yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, you're brilliant. You're brilliant. So no one's going to pull him. And this is going to be a wake up call. I guarantee, I guarantee as well, when I beat him, when I beat him and I get a new belt, he'll still take that belt he's got. Round everywhere he goes. Go to the local shop, mate. Right? Oh, fucking hell. I've got ten belts. My wife won't even leave, have them out in the house. They're about to in the loft. Or under the stairs. Get over it. Fucking hell. It's not the proper... He's not, he's not a world champion yet. When he's a world champion, he can do that. Yeah. And I, in my eyes, he's not going to be one because I'm going to smash him to bits. <laughs> That's the best place to leave it. Oh, one last thing. was for dinner tonight. What's for dinner? That's Taz Paddy. That's Paddy. I think he's doing... Fish, fish, white fish tonight with a bit of noodles. Nice, sounds good. If anyone's listening, you want to come round, yeah. just bring Paddy. Yeah. Don't tell Mark. And his number is. He's never yeah. cooked for his missus. He's never cooked for his missus. 13 years ago, I've never cooked for him. The first night he's in with us, he's told us he's a chef. Yeah, and that's why he says, don't let us see this. Yeah. So. So, and then uh, Derry being Derry just puts his three on, eh? I'll, get, I'll send a, 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 a picture Take tonight. Take a picture and send it, yeah. <laughs> 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 I look forward to it. Derry, Jamie, thank you very much. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.